I'm Daniel Nagasawa. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Texas A&M University. I study spectroscopy, splitting light into its uh, component wavelengths and analyzing line by line, trying to understand the, what, what made the light in the first place or what came between us and the light in the first place. So I deal with stars from things that are you know, just outside of the galaxy to things that are in our own solar neighborhood. AggieSpec is a low resolution spectrograph that we're designing here in the lab. And it's actually a low resolution spectrograph entirely made out of commercial components. And that makes it incredibly cheap, uh, easily replicable, and therefore you can put this on just about any uh, telescope in the world. AggieSpec will be looking at uh, interesting targets found by surveys in the Southern Hemisphere. There's a lot of interesting surveys work going on, like the Dark Energy Survey, DES, and the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, LSST, which will be coming online soon, that will give us a plethora of targets to, to do follow-up spectroscopy on, and we need to have those kinds of instruments now. AggieSpec will be a very small member of the larger community that will be doing this kind of follow-up work. Everything from Lithium Heavier, uh, was formed in the core of a star. And in fact, you can actually tell a lot about the chemical evolution of the galaxy from just studying starlight. And in order to understand our place in the universe and how the Milky Way galaxy and all the stars and planets came to be, we need to understand how the elements came to be as well. So Dan is a great student to have in, the, in our group because he has taken it upon himself to learn and study in great detail the techniques that we use to um, do the science that we're trying to, to accomplish. You are at the frontier of what you know and what you don't know. And sometimes you don't necessarily know what you don't know. It's being comfortable being at that, that boundary layer between knowing and not knowing and trying to just push that a little bit further by doing science properly. You become an astronomer because you want to understand our place in the universe. If nothing else, astronomy grants you a magnificent perspective, and that's what I want to achieve.